Priscilla Presley and granddaughter Riley Keough are just days away from appearing in court to battle it out for control over the late Lisa Marie Presley's estate. But what is the real truth behind the headlines? Watch the rest of the video to find out the drama going on in the Presley family. Following a cardiac arrest in January 2023, Lisa Marie passed away unexpectedly. Riley was appointed the sole trustee of Lisa Marie's will in 2020. Less than two weeks after Lisa Marie's passing, Priscilla filed the court document challenging the authenticity and validity of Lisa Marie's will. Fans of the famous family were shocked by this action, and many began to wonder if the court case was just a formality or if Priscilla and Riley were up to anything more nefarious. But we must look back in order to comprehend the drama of today. Looking back into the history of music, there are very few names that pop up in our minds. Adele, Bono, sure. But the name that eclipses all those names is Elvis. Elvis Presley, the so-called king of rock and roll, had a career that altered the direction of contemporary music and distinguished him as one of the most important people in the 20th century culture. Three people were the beneficiaries of Elvis's inheritance after he passed away in 1977. According to his will, Lisa Marie, Lisa Marie's grandmother Minnie Mae Presley, and his father Vernon Presley. Within a few years of Elvis, Vernon and Minnie Mae also passed away, making Lisa Marie the only one to inherit the fortune. Lisa Marie was not eligible to collect her share of the estate until she turned 25, according to the clauses of Elvis's will. This meant that Priscilla Presley, the National Bank of Commerce in Memphis, and Joseph Hanks served as trustees and held those assets in a trust for Lisa Marie. Lisa Marie later took formal possession of the wealth and named her mother Priscilla and business partner Barry Siegel as co-trustees of the estate to administer her inheritance. However, in this situation, Siegel sold 85% of the trust's holdings in Elvis Presley Enterprises putting Lisa Marie in debt by 2015. In 2016, Lisa Marie sued Siegel for mismanaging her assets, for which he denied the claims. The same year, Lisa Marie appointed Riley and Benjamin as the new trustees in place of Priscilla and Barry, who had previously served as co-trustees. Riley was made the only trustee after Benjamin passed away in 2020. So how big is Riley's inheritance? Lisa Marie, the only child of the late musician Elvis, received his substantial inheritance when she was just nine years old in 1977. This included a piece of his larger estate, which in 2020 was reportedly believed to be valued between $400 million and $500 million, as well as his Graceland home. Yet, at the time of his passing, Elvis's estate was only estimated to be worth $5 million. And it was his ex-wife Priscilla who took over as executor to increase his wealth. She accomplished this by founding Elvis Presley Enterprises and transforming Graceland into the popular tourist destination that it is today. The estate was apparently worth almost $100 million by the time Lisa Marie reached 25 and qualified to inherit it. So is Priscilla challenging Lisa Marie's will? Not really. According to the Los Angeles Times, Priscilla will contest the 2016 change to Lisa Marie's inheritance in court because of five reasons. The amendment misspells Priscilla's name. Lisa Marie's signature appears on a separate page to the substantive provisions of the amendment. Lisa Marie's signature appears inconsistent with her usual and customary signature. The amendment was neither witnessed nor notarized, and contrary to the terms of the trust deed, The amendment was never notified to Priscilla or to Barry Siegel. According to the petition, Priscilla is both troubled by the technical inconsistency of the document and by the possibility that there may have been some fraud involved in this instance. At the time of the filing, Los Angeles-based attorney David Esquibia stated that for some reason, Priscilla doesn't want Riley to act as trustee without her. The 2010 trust permits Priscilla and Riley to act as co-trustees. The 2016 trust permits Riley to act as trustee alone. Priscilla doesn't like this. It's critical to realize that Priscilla is only attempting to get her status as a trustee restored, and she has no intention of contesting Lisa Marie's intentions regarding who should ultimately inherit her fortune. This would seem to disprove assertions that this petition is some sort of money grab. 
Is this all because of some feud between Priscilla and her granddaughter? Priscilla Presley has maintained that the rumors of a falling out between her and her granddaughter are untrue, despite initiating legal action. Priscilla stated, We are totally great, while denying the rumors live on stage at her recent evening with Priscilla Presley event. Navarro and Garibaldi, Lisa Marie's half brother and Priscilla's son, refuted the allegations as well, saying, Yeah, they're fine, no feud. So, do you believe it is fair for Priscilla to challenge Lisa's will to become a co trustee with Riley? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.